teaching began at the Technical School of Helsinki on January the 15th, 1849, in the very center of town, in the house of a master upholsterer named Litonius. The first director of the Technical School of Helsinki was the chemist Anders Olivier Ceylon, a recent graduate of the University of Helsinki. The school's curriculum was designed to compete with the novice system of the trade guilds, so that students who completed the entire course received both a general education and training for technical occupations. The technical trade departments of engineering, mechanical engineering, architecture, chemical technology and surveying were founded at the same time. In 1872, the school was renamed the Polytechnic School, and in 1879, the Polytechnic Institute. In 1877, the Polytechnic School moved to its own premises, when the building designed by F. A. Schoerström was completed next to Hiatalati Market. Since then, the complex of buildings has been expanded on several occasions. By the beginning of the 20th century, the Polytechnic Institute had a little over 200 students. The first female student to be enrolled at the Polytechnic Institute was the sculptress Ida Meller, who was entered in the college books as a supernumerary student in autumn 1880. The first woman to complete an entire course was the architect Signe Hornbury in 1890 and women were given equal status with men in the student body in 1896. The number of women students remained small during the first two decades of the 20th century and did not begin to grow until the 1920s. The Polytechnic Institute was made a university level establishment on April the 2nd, 1908 and was renamed the Technological University of Finland. The change in name brought to its students the rights of university students. Its permanent teachers became professors and the degree requirements of Doctor of Technology were defined. In the late 19th century, students who had passed every course with the highest marks received a special diploma, as was the custom in German-speaking countries. Those receiving a doctorate from the institution received a doctoral diploma, and the title Diploma Engineer was adopted in the early 1940s. The first doctorate was awarded at the University of Technology in 1912. By the time the first conferment of degrees was arranged in 1934, the university had awarded 11 doctorates. The hundredth dissertation was completed in 1961. After the Second World War, the city premises available were much too small. The final decision to move the university out of the city was made in 1948. On January the 15th, 1949, the state bought the lands of Otaniemi Manor in the eastern part of the rural municipality of Espo to serve as the campus of the university and the technical research center. At that time, the area was farmland and the plan was to incorporate it into the city of Helsinki. But instead, the area remained part of Espo. The university is today located in Espo, which now has the status of a city. Development began in Otaniemi with housing for students, called Teekarikula in Finnish, the name of the student village. Its first residents were not students, however, but athletes taking part in the Helsinki Summer Olympics in 1952. The first functions of the university moved to Espoo in 1955. The principal part of the main building was completed in 1964 and the move from Hiatalahti was finalized ten years later. At the same time as the main building was completed, 
work on the student union building called Dipoli was also finished. In the 1970s, Dipoli became the best known venue in Finland for congresses and training courses. In the 1950s and 60s, Otaniemi became one of the most interesting sites for Finnish architecture. The master plan for the campus was drawn up by the architect Alvar Aalto. His office was in charge of the main building and the Otahalli, an indoor sports arena built for the Olympics and several other buildings. The oldest dormitories, the Servin Mökki restaurant and the Otaniemi chapel were designed by the office of Heiki and Kaya Siren. Dipoli was designed by Rema Pietila and Riley Partalainen. The student village, Te Caricula, and the University of Technology were built in woodland, in what was then the rural municipality of Espoo. Espoo gained town status in 1972, and has since then grown to become Finland's second most populous city. The campus of the university has expanded to include business incubators and a technology park. It has become one of Espoo's best known districts. Today Otaniemi employs some 16,000 people, whilst the student body numbers 15,000.